Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year's Day. Get on here and just play some random. I think we are on... Yep, White Valley, Alaska. So, we will see what we got going here. Hope everybody had a good and safe New Year's. As you can see right now, we're doing the cargo apocalypse. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of it. I already got one large pipe and two concrete bricks to the warehouse in Mountain River. Uh, we're currently loaded with two more large pipes, two more concrete blocks on a 10 slot trailer. We're going to pull it with our IX3880. Onward we go. That 10 slot is just insane to pull. Pretty much the exact same trailer as an 8 slot comes on the game. 10 slot is a. Uh, it is a mod. And it is worth it. It's one of those get it done type situations. Cut as close to this barrier as we can. So we get just kind of check to see where our back tires are. They're going to clear. Start cutting. Back it up a little bit here. So slightly jackknife, just a hair. A little tippy. Nope. Ah, we lost it. Oh boy. I wondered. It's okay. We will set this up. See if we can't get our trailer up away from our truck here. Or away from our cargo. Well, I wondered if it was going to tip the way it was leaning real bad right there. But probably should have stopped and gave it a second and repositioned it. But I pushed it. And the joys of rocking a 10 slot trailer, I guess. What is that sucker? Got some traction on that tire back there. Oh, 
ultimately what I'm trying to do is get this trailer away over here so that I might be able to. Kind of pull up this road here. It's just freaking out. Definitely did not cut it far enough. Okay. I don't know how good of an idea this is, but... Kind of using the trailer to move the pipes around just a little bit here. Camera is a little funky. I think that should do. Grab our winch truck here. Paint truck. Head up there. We are on the guardrail. My bad. Oh wow, I was not paying attention. Now, I did shorten the suspension a little bit on this. Try to get my outriggers to touch the ground when I extend them. Um, 
we'll get an idea once we get up here. May have to drop the tire size as well. Kind of make this more of a functioning rig. It's just so gay. Barely caught the guard rail there. About lost the tire. This is part of the fun of the game. Mistake. Spend half the day fixing. This thing will not. Look at that. One way to the other. I don't know why it's acting so drastic on its steering. Looks like we are here. Go ahead and go into crane mode. It's a little height on our boom here. Pipe up off the ground here. Swing it over just a hair. Go back to truck mode here. Go back to crane mode. Deploy our outriggers just in case. We start to swing it off to the side here. Just a hair. Wrong button.
I love this old P16. This thing is just so much fun now. And it works perfect as a crate truck. Okay, since now that we got pretty much everything, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change truck back over here. All right, pack that. That way, everything's organized and out of the way. All right, so what we've got is it says impossible to pack carpet. So basically, we've got to move one of our concrete blocks back. It's the only way this is going to work. I wondered about that. Should not be a problem, but so we'll grab this one. Going move it out the way here. Possible to pet cargo still. I think it's because I'm too far forward now. Okay, okay, I got your game. We can fix that. Back over to our GDE. P16, and we're gonna restore our crane.
I think this has one of the best sounding sound clips. I love the way that sounds. Set our e brake, stop our engine, and back to our thirty eight eighty. Off to Mountain River we go again. Maybe not. Oh, I parked that trailer in a little bit of a predicament, didn't I? There we go. All right, back to it. Like I said, 10 slot trailers. Yeah, they're fun. Everybody should pull a couple. <laughs> That's okay. Just wait till you see where we gotta take this on Mountain River. Onward we go. The little thing here in the mountain river. ready to go on an adventure still <laughs> this is going to be wild all right so here we go Okay, so we're gonna go down here. They call this the truck stop over here, the trailer store. We go right past it. We're gonna come down. We're gonna go past the fuel station. Oops. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna drop right here. Try to skirt the edge of this, that long trailer. Probably gonna wipe out quite a bit of trees. Around here, back up. Then I'm gonna try to hug this wall here to swing this big tent slot around to our warehouse. So, no further ado, let's uh, get after it, huh? Ahead and kick in our all-wheel drive from the start. A little close on that, but 
squeezed it right in there. I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can get the clip for my buddy of mine. So, as you know, some of the co-op stuff, it's still a little glitchy after the last update. Him and I were coming down this hill, and I was sitting up top where I was, just now spawned in, waiting for him to leave, and he never left. So I take off down that hill, just going about as fast as you can go on this here game. And he starts screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> hey, 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 not cool, not cool. Like, what's well, not cool? I'm just driving. On his screen, he was driving down that mountain in front of me. On my screen, he was sitting up there perched still. I proceeded to shove him down that mountain into the telephone poles as you come down through here. And about the time I pulled in here to the fuel station is when I could look back and see him wrecked. So, go to self. Go to everybody out there. If you are playing co-op with friends. It's going to be a little bit... There's a time delay in your internet. And, uh, keep that in mind. Keep some distance between you unless you're loading something. But if you're just driving along, try to keep some distance between each other. And communicate. So. Alright, now you guys see why I was like, oh, this is going to be fun with the tens a lot. <laughs> oh boy. Now I've been out in here at least once with the 8, so it's not the greatest, but it can be done. We are definitely wiping out some trees and supplying some firewood for some people. Oh, oh that's your firewood gonna need to dry out so definitely come up through here like this got our trailer lined up on the road down there looks like we're hung up on the landing gear so a little trick with this truck I'm gonna go ahead and lift our suspension mode up Get our landing gears up out of the mud and up the road we go. Oh, road. Whatever kind of road that is. I... <laughs> go ahead and set our e brake. Oh, we need two large pipes. Check. And we need two concrete blocks. Promoted to rank 27. Okay, well, let's. See if we can get a little wild and woolly get back out of here, huh? Now in real life I would never try this guys, just, just keep that in mind. On the game. A little bit different. You can shove the trailers around with your truck and stuff like that, like I just did there. Now, as you've seen as we were coming in, there's a, got another contractor. I think it may be a task. Got these bricks down here in this river. Let's 
So, what we're going to need, I think, is going to be a crane truck with a three slot. I'm going to and we'll fish these fellas out of the water here. So now, while we're doing this, go ahead and try to get back out of here with this 10 slot and we'll try to get down into the truck stop and we'll sell this 10 slot maybe fast travel back to our P16 take our 16 back to the garage and grab us another truck to come do this uh, as you can see Valley Polar Base is one that I've got initiated already um, it's a pretty big order here's where it gets tricky with this trailer we get her kind of wedged in here a little bit Drive over the guardrail a little bit. Bounce over it with the trailer. That's why I got these off road trailers. They are worth it. Run down in here. Almost end up in front of the So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna park here at the hotel or at the truck stop. Go ahead and drop the air out of our bags. So you're going to go global map back to our Pacific P16. Load back into it. Oh, sometimes it takes a little while to load in. So what's the... Ever get off for some uh, New Year's resolutions? I know that was always the big thing growing up. Oh, I'm going to lose 10 pounds, or no, I'm going to quit smoking, or I'm going to quit chewing, or yeah. quit drinking. See if anybody's got anything good out there. <laughs> All right, we're back.
You know, while we're kind of sitting out here on this road that's yeah, halfway decently flat, let's test something. Tires are just a little bit too tall still. Okay, that's what I was wondering. You know, I could drive this all the way back or you know what? So we're going to customize while it's fresh on my mind. We're going to go into our tires. And I mean there is a list of tires. Oh, that, that's, that's a good one there, boss. <laughs> I, I like that one. Now is now is there any reason why why you're gonna stop being such a you know just throwing it out there I I asked did I ask for you to stop being one or or was it that um, Just the fact that I asked what your resolution was. So we're going to need some short tires. But just one size shorter I think is going to help. Go ahead and sell those. Spent a lot of time in Alaska and... The ice, you need the chains. You want to be everybody's best friends. Hmm. Well, you're my best friend. How about that? I don't know about you, but these freaking look so sick. Like even these. I want to run these, but I don't think they do that great. Yeah, I, I, I read it. I just wasn't going to embarrass you in front of everybody that wasn't reading the chat. Oh, if you could put chains on those, that'd be so sick. does look good. Tempting, tempting. Just trying to make the ultimate crane truck. OK, 
Okay, maybe not the ultimate, but a really nice crane truck anyways. I don't mind putting a little lift on stuff or a little bit bigger tires and that kind of stuff, but some of this making a monster truck out of a semi. Definitely not my style, but that's why everybody plays their game their own way. So I think we're definitely going to have to stick around that like 61 inch tire range to, to make the outriggers functional. So, I mean this truck's huge enough anyways. It really doesn't need 66's or 68's or you know. And the game version of this truck is pretty insane for just a highway rig basically no all-wheel drive yeah we're getting into 68 which with the suspension I put on it won't even fit anyways because I tried to shorten it so that we could use the outriggers you notice I'm not scrolling very fast for fear of hard lagging out <laughs> alright we're finally here Okay, so we got the Quasi Devil Studded Mud Tires, which these are probably one of my top favorites so far. Because they work really good on just about every truck you put them on. And you've got your monsters. And my all-time favorite. I don't know why I'm partial to these, but I am. I... <laughs> I guess it's that realism look that I like. That could be it. That is exactly what we're putting on here. And you can see I just had these 63's on there. So all we're doing is knocking two inches off and that should give us exactly what we need for those outriggers to be perfect. So, yeah, because I put the JBD, JBE active suspension on there. So, now let's say I do get it in a pickle going up a mountain and my outriggers that are just hanging are getting us in a, pot, in a bind. We just use the active suspension, lift it up, get away from it. So, being a little bit shorter on the wheels and that's not such a bad thing. Go through our rims, you know, kind of a well, darker aluminum. You've got your more polished aluminum. And probably my favorite, the heavy duties. Just kind of love them. You got your old school um, split rims. These, I think, are the rims that come on the Dairy Longhorns. Which, I mean, they don't look bad. I 
uh, International pay starter factory wheels and I love the way these look too so it's going with the old school this may be better than yeah let's do that let's go a little old school and then you've got your more military here on these last three so let's let's do the old school wheels on here I wish we could change the paint that would that would be one thing that would be even if it was just a black you know but that's okay heavy duty bumper LED fog lights in the front we don't do beacons because we always turn them off anyways Oh, I don't know why that was shut off, but it's on there now. <gasps> oh, I bet you just got rid of the cab lights. Yep. So you got a choice. You can run your <laughs> your cab lights or your drop visor, which, yeah, I don't know. Visor doesn't do a whole lot when you've got the top of the bed that comes over the top anyway, so might as well just run the parking lights and if you guys want you've also got these it does have that it's got a small roof rack which apparently this one is an invisible roof rack so oh no the hood I was looking in the wrong We got our big crane on here. You've got a flatbed option, a heavy car fuel carrier, a small crane, the sideboard, a small fuel carrier, maintenance frame. Ah, there it is. That's what I was thinking about. You got your truck supplies up on top there. Saddle high only. All right, now we got her all set up. Good to go. I think that'll work <clears throat> for our crane setup. So we're gonna go into our trucks. We need something with a crane. So probably the 3.8 mini crane and maybe a three slot, if possible, flat flat bed or side sideboard bed so what we're going to do is we're going to look through here and so I've got my other wrecker here go ahead and pull it up and slowly scroll down here to our add-ons oh I do have a crane already on here with a three slot rollback hmm I think oh we're making her freak out on us here let's give it a shot I think this is the perfect situation. Oh, absolutely. That blue turned out really good on this truck. Really good. All right, so into your, oh, it looks like we opened up some more. Oh yeah, definitely opened up. We can select them. We'll just go ahead and do that while we're sitting here. 
That way when the time comes, if we're sitting there on the other map or something going, Hey, whoa, what do we need for this? We can look it up and don't have to drive all the way to it. Oh, uh, looks like we've got some Morrison mining. Supply crates. Drilling stuff. Yeah, it's just drilling stuff. Okay. Oh, that's because we're on... Um, okay, so we're going to have to go to our global map. Mountain River. And there's our task. Bricks in the river. Let's start tracking. So when we get in where we were just at, in Mountain River, we are going to go down here. And all three of them bricks are laid out through here. So we'll pick them up and take them up here. So, we should underway here. And like I said, we always turn the beacons off. Oh, I do anyways. Caught my old dog Charlie in the truck with me today. Saved it. I had a little, little wild and rusty. Scared of birdies. there. That's the old warehouse factory here. Keep it on. Just a little slide down the hill there. Oh, sure, sure. We'll take damage right before we switch into the next map. That's, that'll work. 
Drove all the way over here and saved it the whole time. Jeez Louise. Uh. Here we go. Let's get after it. Oh, about six in the afternoon. Well, guess we're just gonna have to get after it and work a little faster. Kick our all wheel drive in. You see the ice in the road. And that's so realistic at the way it feels to drive on. It's just... Now I've played in snow runners. I've played in mud runners. And it is nothing compared to this. The physics of this game, the graphics, just... They, they outdo themselves. Now we are taking damage like crazy. Well, that's okay. Here we go. We're gonna. Since we're not towing, we're not driving on the highway, we're gonna go ahead and inflate our bags on the truck. Get her up out of the. off the ground. I walk into here. I'm gonna look off to left here. I guess we'll try to be nice to Mother Nature here a little bit. <laughs> I was gonna back up to that other one, but I mean, we're right here, so <laughs> might as well, right? Go ahead and put our outriggers out just on the off chance. You see how it picked the truck up? Awesome. power than I expected it to have. Let's go ahead and restore. Ah, perfect. Packed it on the back. That's where we want it. Okay. Awesome. For this one out, I wanted to repack. I wanted to pack that one on there first to make sure that our crane was going to reach. So Do a little bit of oh, she's oh, we're on top of this giant rock over here. That would explain a lot. Okay. Can I slowly crawl up it? Nope. No, nope, let's not even risk it. Ooh, bouncer. Oh, let's just 
do it the right way here. Oh, right way, wrong way. Who knows? That's what I feel would be the right way. Let's go ahead and back up the river here. And see, we're not going to be able to reach that. I just got to think we're not going to reach that with our crane from here. So we're going to have to definitely get alongside of it. go get our outriggers again spin it around go ahead and winch up check the clearance go ahead and swing it back over Winch down. Bam. Disconnect your winch. Go ahead and go down here. Unpack everything. And repack. Gives you that solidness. We're going to go ahead and bring Tony into the party. Join Tony's party. Good morning, Mister. Have it on, I do not know. <laughs> I have no that that would that would be swell. Greatly appreciate it. Uh it's been um, a few minutes since I did. I did. I commented on it. Sir, I appreciate it. Just getting some bricks out of the water. Getting bricks out of the water. Yeah. Yeah, I put that uh, Euro crane on that three slot rollback. It Pretty sick setup. One slot. There, only one. Yep. <gasps> that is not what I meant to do. Yours has been crackly for a little while. That's okay. I just accidentally um, oops. <laughs> uh, 
So I removed one of my bricks off my truck on accident. <laughs> oh, okay. So <laughs> what the problem is, um, oh boy. I'm going to have to restart this, I guess. Well, that's no good. <laughs> so, it's one of the, like, tasks. Oh, so-and-so dropped bricks in the river on the way here. Can you pick them up for us? And then, no, you know how you can remove cargo? <laughs> well, let's just say Mark removed some cargo. <laughs> yeah, so. On a positive note, I could drop the two that I had loaded still off. Re well, I restarted it. Drop two off, and then I'll just run down the hill real fast and grab another one out of the water and um, drop it off and be done with it. But this goes to show, be careful when you're um, doing anything in your menu. Oh yeah, I mean, I went, I went full on. Oops, no. It's all right. Quick and easy fix. Yeah, this little Euro crane on this truck is insane. Yeah, because you go right past pack cargo to remove cargo. Turns out bad. Ooh, ooh, flexing, flexing the old 380 right here, buddy. <laughs> Sure. 